Right, and what we're hearing a lot of messaging from the Pentagon and from the White House press spokeswoman this morning, uh, the, the midday today, as well as other government officials, we're not really hearing the response to Iraq. Iraq made it very clear that they condemned these attacks because the attacks were carried out on the Iraq-Syria border in one location in Iraq. And that is an area where there are Iraqi military who are trying to protect Iraqi civilians from ISIS. Now, the Pentagon spokesman, John Kirby, did put out a press release yesterday saying that this was defensive, it was precise, and it was against Qatayb al-Hezbollah and Qatayb al uh Sh 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 Syed al-Shahada. Now, Qatayb Syed al-Shahada has put out a statement saying four of their fighters were killed. That is on Iraqi soil. That puts Iraqi in a hard, uh, the Iraqis in a hard place between Iran and the U.S. So within about an hour's time from now or less than an hour, depending on his schedule, President Biden will speak uh, just as, as a pool spray, as they call it. Uh, there'll be some questions shouted out at him, and he might answer something about this if there's a question about how does he square the circle with the relationship with Iraq. Now, According to some unnamed sources and according to an expert I spoke to, these unmanned drones were being flown from this area where uh, on the Iraq border in al Qaim. That area is also where the Iraqis protect people from ISIS. And they were carried out because these unmanned drones were being flown from there, from warehouses, towards Erbil, Erbil in northern Iraq. And that's basically where you have a lot of U.S. assets, soldiers, military, and you also have intelligence intelligence and government. So that would be where the operations are being operated, are, are being held in northern Iraq. That's why the U.S. is so defensive about it in all these statements. But the question is, why such a response to what are basically non-militarized aircraft? Uh, these are non-militarized drones. So a lot of questions are being asked behind the scenes, not a lot of answers from the White House administration.